New at 10, two high-speed pursuits over the weekend, both involving felons with guns. Dash cam captures one of those chases that lasted for 12 miles. Tom Durian is live with how the sheriff is planning to combat this epidemic. Tom. Yeah, Carol, the sheriff says uh, both those chases over the weekend, the high speeds and the dangerous felons led to those very bad conditions. The first one started just like this, with a vehicle pulled to the side of the road with the flashers on. Dash cam video shows what appears to be a disabled vehicle pulled to the side of the road on Interstate 94 near Miller Park. As soon as the deputy pulls up, the driver closes the trunk, gets back in the car and pulls away. <laughs> Narrowly escaping a semi truck at freeway speeds on a rainy, wet interstate. The deputy follows and pulls over the driver. He speaks with the driver who reportedly says, quote, I know my rights. I refuse to give you consent to search my car, end quote. Backup arrives three minutes later, and again, the chase is on. Watch as the driver signals nearly every turn, but evades deputies for miles. Ends up on a 12 mile pursuit, 12 miles through the city streets. Nearly 20 minutes later, a dead end at 23rd and Valit and an end to the pursuit. I'm gonna have to just be blunt and say career type criminals that have no regard for life. They're only concerned about what they're doing at the particular time. The suspect was taken into custody a couple blocks away. Once you get the uh, the person stopped, get him in custody. What do you find out? Well, there's there's a gun in the car, and it's a felon. So it's this criminal behavior that is ruining our communities that we're after. We're going to keep pursuing this until we get it slowed down and eventually stopped. And the sheriff says in the other case over the weekend, that suspect crashed into an innocent driver. Thankfully, nobody was injured. Reporting live in Wauwatosa, Tom Durian, today's TMJ4. Yes, and pretty brazen criminals. Thank you very much, Tom.